All right, so I'm gonna be sharing with you guys uh, some breakfast ideas. And today, I'm gonna show you my power oatmeal that I love. And so we're right here at my local health food store. I love it here. And they have exactly what I need um, in oatmeal. This is my favorite. So I'm gonna show you, there's two kinds that I really like, one more than the other, but the brand that I always go to is One Degree. Um, now, obviously, um, this is the, the gluten-free. I always look for gluten-free, organic, and sprouted is the best because it's ease, more easily digested in the body. So um, I'm going to pick this up, but my actual favorite is this, is the rolled oats. So they're not the quick oats, which means that they retain more nutrients, more vitamins, more minerals in them. So uh, I'm gonna get both today because my family loves the quick and I prefer the rolled. Also, um, take note of steel cut. Um, the steel cut oats actually have the most um, nutrition packed in it. But for this, I particularly like a creamier oatmeal. So we're gonna go with these two today. All right, now also what I like to do is in my oatmeal, which we're gonna, I'm gonna be showing you how I cook that, but right now we're just gonna go through the ingredients, is if you follow me down here, also along the same, uh, one of the things that I love to put in, in the morning I love to have a lot of protein. I always suggest getting about 20 to 30 uh, grams of protein in in the morning. I work out in the morning, I wanna make sure that I have a good hearty breakfast. Um, so hemp seeds, not only are they high in omegas, but they have lots of great protein. And I will just sprinkle this on after I cook it. I don't wanna cook the hemp seeds, but I will get to that. I wanna keep them raw so they're in their most um, nutrient dense form. So I'm gonna add hemp seeds, and we're also gonna add chia seeds. You could do black or white, it doesn't matter. Um, I, I just grab one uh, for this purpose. Let's just grab the white ones, all right? Okay, and then one of the things that I like to do, I don't always do this, sometimes I'll use like slivered almonds. Um, <laughs> so, hey, we're, we're in the store. Um, sometimes I will use some slivered almonds or some raw pumpkin seeds, but sometimes I just wanna get some nut butter and then make it even creamier. My husband loves this. So we're gonna go right down here to this aisle. And now, my husband is a peanut butter fan, so I have to get that for him. Um, me personally, I stay away from um, peanuts just because they, and if you do do peanuts, just make sure you're doing organic. But I tend to go towards the cashew butter, um, but actually I love sunflower butter. Um, so I do the once again sunflower seed butter, and let me tell you, with apples, sliced apples in this, it makes an amazing snack. It's kind of caramely tasting. Um, so I will get this, but my husband actually um, loves the Santa Cruz organic, if you can get it. And he likes the dark roasted peanut butter. This is the no stir and he likes the creamy. So, um, but sunflower butter is awesome. Almond butter you can pick from a variety. Oh, if you guys have this brand here, this um, this is a great brand, Art Artisan, Art Art Artisana. And the uh, walnut butter is an excellent choice because it's high in omegas and we need to eat, be eating more omega-3s in our diet. We get so many omega-6s which are more inflammatory so we wanna make sure that we're getting lots of omegas. So fish, walnuts, this is a good way um, source to get it. Um, the pecan butter is really good, cashew is great. So you have so much to choose from. But today we are gonna do sunflower butter. 